Hi folks, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. Right, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of doming. Um, I've mentioned this before. One or two people have asked me what's doming. Um, and really what it is, is when you've done a, a few of the, you know, that way up. <laughs> well, that way up actually. That's what's in the bottom of the mould. This is the top and sometimes um, if you don't sort of just put a little bit over the edge uh, you get a little rim I don't know whether you can can you see you've got like here but sorry this side you've got a little bit of a ridge on there and a lip and what you need to do is you need to fill that just very carefully fill that I'm trying to get it away from these folds and um, what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to be making fridge magnets. So first of all, I need to put a magnet on, on there, like that. But I've got to be careful how I do this because if I am too close together, they'll all uh, fly over to one, one piece. So I'm keeping them at distance that I will bring them into, where is it, when when I'm actually going to cover it. I'll move that up there a bit more. There we go. Right, how many have I done? One, two, three, four, one, two, four, five. Now I've got five magnets left. I need at least four the same size to go on these. So we'll do these. I'm going to just use this dry brush just to make sure I've got them fairly central that one looks okay so does that one I think so all I'm going to use I've got my mix I've mixed my resin up I've given it a good blast with my uh, heat tool and I use my embossing heat tool and you can see there it's crystal clear and it's also very uh, runny because I've actually uh, mixed it. Oh, that slipped down again. Oh, dear me. Just bear with me a second. Let me see if I can't get that to stay a little bit more where I want it. <laughs> Let's see. Oops. Right. How is that? No better. Is it any better? Maybe I should do it like that. I think you can see anyway, can't you, basically what I'm doing. So with these four, I'm just going to <coughs> put some um, resin on it, not too much, just enough to take it to the edge again. And hopefully they won't spill over. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me, <coughs> I've got a bit of a, a frog in my throat this morning. I think it's... Uh, on vacation from France. Anyway, move that over a little bit. So only way, the only way I'm going to do this, I'm not pouring, is I'm just going to drizzle my resin on there, like that, not too much. And then with my cocktail stick, I'm just going to help it to the edge, but not over the edge. I'll look a bit of a bubble there as well, so we get rid of that with the cocktail stick. We don't need to go over, we just want it to go to the edge. And it really does not matter that it's gone over the magnet. Because, obviously, when I put another magnet to it, when this is uh, cured, it will, st it, will, you know, it will be perfect. And that magnet won't move. So it won't fall off. If I just were to stick a magnet on with, I don't know, glue, super glue or whatever, it might not stay where I want it. So basically all I'm doing is ensuring that that magnet stays where it is. And at the same time, making sure that I've got a nice, a nice dome. And that appears to be just about right you've just got to be so careful that you don't 
take it over the edge. So I'm going to leave that alone now. That one should cure nicely. I'll pop my stick on there a minute. I've just been searching all over for this box. See how big it is? Right under my nose, in front of my face. Wasn't missing. Wasn't buried. It was straight in front of me. <laughs> oh, what am I like? Okay, so we're doing this one next. And I'm deliberately pouring it onto that magnet so that I know it will it will stay. I'm not going to put any more mat on. I'm going to send some of that resin up to this edge. This one's not got such a deep bridge, but it will still allow me to go up to the edge and not spill over the edge, I hope. She says, she says very bravely. But I've been having a couple of um, issues with doing the backs and I don't know why. And I only can think it's because sometimes my hand shakes a little bit and it might just make that go over the edge. And that, to me, looks like it's okay. I'm almost laying down to look just to make sure I have got it to the edges. There we go. I'm sure I've done it now. Just don't want it to go over. That looks perfect to me. Super. Right, now this one. And this is what actually brings the edge. Oops, a daisy. Where is it? Oh, we're a bit of coming. Where is it? Don't waste it. Let's put it up on here. <laughs> oh dear, that's me being mean again. But I don't, uh, I'm just so. Um, the only thing that worries me is that it goes over the edge because. Uh, it's happened to me before and I've been so careful, or thought I had, but obviously not careful enough. It would seem a little bit more. Sometimes it actually helps if you let your um, if you let your resin thicken up a little bit, start to cure. But the trouble is when you having to fiddle a little bit like this to make sure it's gone right to the edge it can be you know takes a while and then it goes too thick and stiff and what have you so you've just got to be got to judge it right and quite clearly I didn't with the last lot so I'm not risking it this time I'm going to just put a very small amount on and hope that it's enough to uh, do the job. Oops, there so, bring it back up. Move that out of the minute. Bring it back up towards this magnet a bit, and then over that way. Mm -hmm. You can see if you've not quite got it to the edge, if you just sort of look on it side on a little bit. Okay, that looks that's looking pretty good to me that I think. Yeah. And because I've managed to get all the bubbles out this resin doesn't bubble a lot, I've got to say, it's not bad at all. But I always do, I've got a little heater here which blows out to the side, so I hold the jug where the heat's coming out and stir slowly. And uh, as I said, there's absolutely no bubbles whatsoever in there. And that damn camera has slipped again, hasn't it? Why is it not sticking down? Sorry for this poor my media say I'm trying to get the darn thing to be still. So, so that one's now uh, 
you see this a tiny bit where it's not got to the edge that has looked beautiful and then I'm just going to push it out of my way a little bit over there and then this is the last one so because I've just got the four I'm just going to move that fractionally into the middle so this is the last one of these of these four I have to make sure I've got like the matching but matching but same size um, <coughs> magnets to, to put on it when uh, when this is cured so that it's then becomes um, these are to be cover minders or needle minders if you're doing cross stitch cover minders for uh, diamond painting uh, I have one I was my, I've made and I was one you know on my diamond painting the one on my big board and it's brilliant and I love it and I'm really chuffed that just at the fact that I've made it myself <laughs> I am and it's a success <laughs> one of the good successes that I'll show you shortly and I've just done a couple more of these bits and um, how I do the uh, fronts of the uh, cover minders so I'm going to try and bring a little bit more of that over here I just don't want too much along the ridge there we go a little bit more this way and down and there we go I think ooh I think we've just done that one oh just a minute no just a little bit at the top there yes so that one is now done and one just ready for curing so carefully I will move that out of the way and then I'll find some more magnets where's my, where's my box under my nose again you see what I mean oh dear old lady syndrome sorry peeps <laughs> gotta grin and bear it with me I'm afraid just bear with I'm gonna see if I can I'll just I, I couldn't find this earlier on but I found it so I'm just going to try and whatever you do don't buy don't do like I do don't buy cheap masking tape because it's rubbish oh for crying out <laughs> it's absolutely pants this stuff it just tears halfway down the strip and it's like stick better to itself than it does to anything that you want it to stick it to. I certainly wouldn't want to be putting this on wallpaper, you know, down edges of a door to stop stop uh, catching paintwork because it, it's, it just, oh, dearie me, it's terrible stuff. Right, let me see if I can now get that. hope that works right magnets so I've used those are the five that are for the first five that I've done Ooh. these are a little bit thicker magnets they all, <laughs> are all different sizes as you can see in there from all over the place so I'll do it that. <coughs> right, so here we go again. One on there and one on there. And we we'll just put some of the old resin on. 
it's so much easier to control using a, a lollipop stick and then your little cocktail sticks it really is a lot better and of course they make nice fridge magnets so if you're making fridge magnets you only need to use one magnet if you're using it to make um, like I said needle minders or um, cover minders then you need obviously you need two magnets but uh, yeah they do make nice this is a sea urchin one and as is that one but this one's a lot deeper and probably would have been better as a fridge magnet this one it certainly might be a bit too thick for a needle minder but it would definitely work for um it would definitely work for a cover minder and this one will be the last one like this much mm. and then try and spread it around while it's because it seems to be when I put it on it that's better I'm gonna say I've got it on a bit of a, a fold there and it was moving a bit too quick to one side and if you don't uh, <coughs> get it away in quick enough it'll just go straight over whereas if you're just doing a thin coat like I'm trying to do which is what I am doing it's just covers the surface tension and the surface tension will hold it back if you've not made if you've not broken it by going over the edge so that's that's the uh, that's the difference for it and then just making sure that it's it's all covered And you've got a nice surface and that looks to be almost done just this little edge and there we go and I'm just gonna Maneuver that and that seems to be okay just before I give it a little put right <coughs> that's that um right with this uh I've already done the backs on these and um, so that um, bezel is nicely uh, resined in so it won't come off but unfortunately this is what I mean by as I've done that it's over spilled for some reason I must have gone beyond the tension or put too much on and it's gone over the edge so consequently all the front on all of these well, it was a disaster just looking to that and I think um, all the, all the um, resin from the back came to the front so they've had to be sanded and uh, obviously you've got this now there are two ways you can do this uh, one is to tape it all over the back um, and which one is it I don't know which one it might have been when I think I've put it away again uh, the this is what I mean about the cheap um, a masking tape I taped them on the back and the tape wouldn't come off properly and it left it stuck I thought it was on that one but it wasn't you see again I can stick another magnet on there and I've got another fridge magnet but unfortunately it's not very nice around the edges so I've got to do something with that I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that that's been domed nicely 
uh, no, it's not. I'm not doing the back of that one. I could get away with that one, actually. I could do the back of that. Pop a magnet on, and I've got another one. Now, <clears throat> when they end up looking like this, what I call, um, I call that a fail, because I don't like, it looks, I don't know, it looks weird around the edges. I don't like that colour at all. And uh, I'm just trying to move this. Um, that's better, get a bit more of the resin on the magnet itself. This is trouble now, start faffing and I end up doing what, what I don't want it to do. <laughs> see, and you can see me hand shaking now. Terrible, oh, let's move that back into the middle. And that one, that's... Let's see, that other magnet covered. That magnet all covered. So, yeah, so not that magnet all covered. Let's just bring that into the middle. So that's those. Um, right, so I'm going to try and move them up there a little bit. I don't want those at the minute. Bring that up there. Bring that. And that. And that okay. The other bit that I do is obviously on this side. Now I'm going to try. <laughs> it says I am going to try and do it a little different. It probably won't work, but we're going to give it a go anyway. So I'm going to get a little bit of resin on my brush, and I'm just going to oh. That's done exactly. Oh no! Oh heck! That wasn't meant to happen at all. Did you all see that? <laughs> oh dearie me! Um, yikes! I've got to separate all these magnets now because uh, oh no, that's not good. Because they uh, oh dear. Oh. I've <laughs> They're all sticking together. The magnet magnetizing each other and sticking together and they go back. I'm hoping that's not going to uh, mess up the resin on the back of that. I didn't realise I got them quite that close together, but clearly I had. But now, because that's happened, I have got to um separate all these magnets somewhere and so that when they dry out they're not going to be all stuck together because I can't let them cure together or I'm going to have no magnets or just one very big one so I'm going to try and get them apart if I can you know when your hands have got all resin on them and they're slippy <laughs> I nearly did it. Just... This is. <laughs> oh my god. What not to do when you're doing <laughs> using magnets? Don't let the darn things get together. Oh wait, I can't get them apart. And it's not that it's. Hang on, wait, let me try a bit of a. Oh. Talk about calamity. Hmm. Get a baby right now. Got it. Right, let's give that a bit of a wipe. I mean, it might be baby wipes are a godsend. Let me tell you, absolutely a godsend. Right, get all that off there. Let me try and separate these now. That's it, I've managed it. I'm put one there. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> one there. Oh, that one's gone to that one. <clears throat> and one there. Oh, dear. What a calamity. Heaps. Just make sure that they're not got loads of resin on them. Okay, hopefully, hopefully, she says. Hopefully. Now, let's 
hope. They will stay put. And because of all that netting, bubbles. That's it, it's gone. Okay. That's it, it's gone. They're okay. Alright. Like I was saying before, I'm going to try doing this with a little bit of resin and brushing it on. I don't know whether it will work. Probably won't, but it's just a trial and error. It's one that doesn't really matter if it works, it works and great. If it doesn't work, what the heck? If you know what I mean. So you've got to just be careful that you don't leave really uh, thick brush, brush strokes on it because if you leave brush strokes on it, it, it will be seen. So, I've got my own now. I'll try, I'll try this one. This, these are gorgeous and it's a shame really that this actually happened. But once you've got your re resin over it again, more times than not, it, it, uh, it covers up that mess. And they are back to how uh, they should be. Not so much with that one, but again, it's just a little tiny bit on there. It's dropped again that time, hasn't it? Just a little tiny bit just here. You can just see slightly grey area here. Well, that, I'm not going to let that be a problem because I'm going to be putting things on the front anyway to decorate them. So that won't matter. So let's, uh, let's see how the rest go. Will, uh, oh, do you know, holding that bezel, it's hurting my finger, believe it or not. Watch out. So I've made sure I've gone right to the edge, but not over. I'm going to lay that down. It'll, last one of these, and we'll just do this one. covered over better than I thought it would actually so I'm quite pleased about that and again if you can see on here these these bits of white here they're actually not blemishes you can see these that is the white ink that was dropped in from the back and quite honestly I don't like how that happens I just don't like the way that works but on here I can put three little flowers and a, but a small butterfly there and they will be gone they won't be noticed so that's one way of getting around the issue of getting those awful marks and getting rid of them so that's that one i don't know what was wrong with this oh that's that other edged one what's this one this one's just not a nice finish on it that's what's wrong with this I'll give it a, a coat and see see what it looks like when it's dry. I don't like to throw these pieces away because if nothing else I can use them for something else. If you know what I mean. So I'll pop that there. And that actually hasn't turned out too bad. So right, I thought I was doing a small I'm going to this is how I clean my stuff, by the way. I use hand sanitizer in the bottom there. This you could actually was clean, but I'm giving it a good old, my brush, a good old rub round with that hand sanitizer. And then baby wipe. And get rid of it all. There we go. A little bit more. A little bit more hand sanitizer. And that should dry nice and soft. It should, anyway, I hope. Might use a bit of a kitchen towel as well, though. Just to be sure. 
just finish it off. A bit should have run out. I've used it many times for this job, so I'm guessing it will work. That's it. So that's that one. I'll let that dry now. And that just needs the kitchen roll inside there and we'll be around there. And all that's in there anyway is hand sanitizer, so it should it should be fine. It should dry it off nicely and be nice and clean for next time. And I think next time's going to be around about now because I have got a fair amount of resin here that um, I wasn't actually uh, intending to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find um, a couple of moulds. So I need this one. This is a new one I've not used. And it's like little cubes. And these make absolutely fabulous earrings. So you put a little bit of something in. Oh. Don't ever you don't say them for your small peeps because they um they don't they're not very good. <laughs> So, and again, the same thing applies with this, just drizzling a very small amount in there. To the top. And if you can just see a little bow over it, I'm going to... Now there, I've dragged it across because it's over full and I don't want it to waste. Here we go with the don't waste resin motto. And I think you'll find that a lot of crafters will say exactly the same. Just drag it across to another motor, to another spot. So that you're not wasting it because it, it's just a shame to be wasting stuff, you shouldn't be wasting it. There you go. And that, they're going to be a bit boring, I know, because they're clear, but I'm going to put some in here. And do some little bits of get some stirrers. A little bit of this. This is gorgeous. This is so fine. Don't ever ask me where I got it from because I cannot tell you. It probably would be, um, probably would be eBay because I've just had a, I've, I've just had actually a bit of a tantrum with um, uh, AliExpress actually. Uh, one one of the sellers on AliExpress, AliExpress. Um, yeah, there's not enough in there. Uh, I ordered some um, iridescent uh, holographic tiny snips of it. It's paper, really, uh, but it's absolutely gorgeous when it's put into something, and then the resin put on top. Oh, that's a little bit better colour. And uh, I ordered it, and it was a fifty gram bag I was ordering and paying for. And I've got a four gram little tiny a pot that size with and the pot as well as the stuff only weighed four grams together. So needless to say, this lady wasn't a happy bunny at all. Oh, 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 not too much. Don't 
don't overflow do not overflow not right where am I with the little I don't know what I'll be looking for though. Don't know where to put those now. Oh wow, what a mess. What a predicament I'm in. I keep saying I'm going to have to sort it because there's stuff I've got to send out and until I can get it sorted properly. I'm struggling a little bit. Just wanted to bring that up to the top. I do a lit a lot of these little spheres because they make lovely earrings and also they make nice little charms that you can um, you know put on your handbag charms and what have you just by putting a little eyelet pin in it and then a bit of a chain on it and they do make really nice uh, charms for bags or whatever really um, I'm going to be making a few charms uh, very soon I've got my uh, actually I'm going to be making the you know the glue bottle charms that people have been making well I made some and unfortunately they were uh, oops I don't know. they were um, they went black they, they don't they weren't stainless you, d you need stainless steel if you're putting it through into a glue, a glue bottle and uh, mine wasn't so I've actually got some that came yesterday I believe or day before maybe and uh, so I'm going to be making some charms so these kind of things look really nice on charms and things are square I've got square now I've got some uh, spheres There's, you know, there's so many things you can do with them. Earrings, charms, pendants, um, key, key rings, as I say, key rings, all sorts. Absolutely all sorts of things you can use them for. And they make lovely gifts. Do another one of those. Whoops, it is amazing. That's the trouble with me not steady enough. And Harry keeps reminding me you, you do all for that kind of thing. <laughs> you don't. But I can't give the two. If I stop crafting, I'll just stop living, I think, because um, I actually had a bit of a, I went to optician yesterday. Normally, it's just a quick eye check and a uh, new prescription, new glasses following week, job done. Not yesterday, unfortunately, and I wasn't happy. The optician was a lovely guy. Um, I do believe he'd be either Sikh or Muslim, but he was a really, really nice chap. And uh, he was quite concerned because through the eye test I kept seeing like a double vision thing going on. 
Um, is it better now? Is it better now? No, no. Is it better now? No. And we went on and on and on like that for quite some time. And uh, he was a little bit um, worried. Oops, a bit. And uh, and so was I. <laughs> by the end of the um, yep, by the end of the eye test, I was, to say the least, a little bit concerned. Been wanting to do this one for a while, actually. So, I mean, I think it would probably just be enough. So, um, he said. He wasn't happy, he wanted to see me again next Thursday for another eye test. He wasn't sure whether it was just the fact that my eyes would be tired after being testing my eyes for so long as things weren't going to plan as it were. And uh, he wants to see me next week, got to have it done again, have the test again. And if it still remains the same, he's going to refer me to the hospital. He also informed me that I've got high blood pressure. Um, he says, do you suffer a lot with high blood pressure? I said, I don't suffer at all with that. I didn't even know I got it, you know, which I didn't. I had no idea. And uh, I'm just trying to work out why that poor is high up like that because this um, this mould is full to the brim well it certainly helps it except for that little bit so I don't know now why it's still sort of Why is it below the um, the pore? I don't know. I tell you what, I'm going to do a little, just a smidgen more. I don't really want to do a lot because I have to tell you what, I'll leave. I'll leave this bit that of it in so that it's not too dense. And then we can at least see what it says on the floor. But I'm going to pour over that now and see if that would cover it. squeezing out every last little bit I can muster. I don't really want to mix any more of this colour up so hopefully, hopefully that might have done the trick. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not really all that confident that it has actually so keep going over, dragging as much out of the little pot as I can. I can't get much more out, man. It's totally scraped clean. That's very thin on that tip. Oh. To be honest. I've been wanting to see what it was like this one, but hmm. Oh, there we are. 
I don't think it's meant to be a shake or anything like that. It's more of a, a key ring thing, I think. But you see, just like there and there, the paw wasn't covered as such. I'm just trying to drag some of that over it. Okay, I'm leaving it at that. If it don't work, it don't work. Never mind. I'll do something with it at some stage or another. Get rid of wax. I won't, no, I'll use it again because I'm going in for a darker colour now. But what? So what's here? Um, I want a mica powder, so part of the ER it would and what we're going with what shall we go with can't see ya <laughs> need some help here please what shall I go with Trouble, I keep going with the green and if I don't with green I'm going to go with blue 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 probably come out a little bit purple because I've left the uh, one nearly dropped that in my pot then I'm just going with the blue I know you can't see what I'm doing but take it from me I'm going with the blue I'll show you the blue and I just get laid on if I don't put my lid back on straight away I'll drop it and it will everywhere so that's the one we're going with blue <laughs> I'm just trying to death I'm going to drop it and cover everything with it right now we can put some resin in in there and ooh that's it we'll mix that up oh it's coming with a nice colour really nice colour I like that colour what are we going to do with it? What are we going to do with it? What? What? What are we going to do? Oh, that's a bit of a match on time. I never thought I might go in with the mouth. I haven't got to think I would have done that if I'd have seen that a bit back. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to do a box. Um, which means I might have to use all of this. Hmm. Starting to get warm now, so they. I want to use twelve of them. Where's there going to be enough powder in that? Powder, it's uh, a lot of resin. That looks a bit dark in here. Does it want more red? Want more? You know what? I'm gonna. Oh no, it's too opaque. I need some more mica powder than that. Taint enough. It, it just looks it taint. It taint enough. So, get some more. The only trouble is with these. They're not. Uh, there's not much in these little pots to start with. I'll never buy it like this again, mica powder, because it's too expensive to get very little. Uh. 
I have got to uh, find the best way of storing my images because uh, I'll do this potter instead because I can't live with this one. I think it's there, definitely. I don't particularly like that lid very much. That's it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll do this one. Uh, come over here and do it so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully. There we go. Right, good mix up. Mix all that mica powder in. It's getting quite warm, so uh, the, the um, resin. So that means that's a good sign. It means it's going to start curing. There we go. Something. Hopefully it comes out nice. Or it from a great height. Starters. Let it slowly fill that bottom up and then I'm going to pop any bubbles that might be in I'm going to run around it with my little stick and hopefully sort any bubbles out that might be there hopefully there are none see any more. I can't see any. Hmm. Another way I've found to uh, check on bubbles is if you um, just squeeze it like that it brings them up. It doesn't seem very long. Beautiful bubbles, I see you, I see your bubbles. Let me just give it a quick test. No bubbles. Uh, 
fly and I'm going to ooh, what's that? Not, not like this, but you don't want it in my lid. Whatever it be. I'm out. Oh. Not one of that one. It's better. Got it. And then we'll just hopefully. Us. Uh, Slide that over. Yeah, like so. Oh, I have some bubbles in there. And then bring that over here. Like that. That's better. Look at it now. It's flowing better. <coughs> have to get rid of all or get rid of but you know scrape it all out it could have stood a little bit more but you know I think it's going to do you know make a complete lid so I'm quite happy yeah, it's pretty much a perfect, it's a perfect job lot, I think, that one, but it's only by good luck, not so much good judgment. So, let's uh, hope it does the job. That's it, that's just the job. Alright, that's fine. So, what we've got now is uh, a fairly good amount of... Um, pause for the actual um, for the actual uh, resin and the other bits and bobs that we've got going on I'm just going to shove that little cocktail stick under there a bit and it's just to hold it up a little bit um, so we've got all these nicely domed with the magnets on They've got to dry now, a uh, cure, and also these that I've done the tops of also have to cure. Um, then we can get on with um, just putting the other backs on and doing the front. 
but for the now that's about all we can do and I can't put them any closer together at the minute because the magnets are still not totally held down and that means that they, they could just fly onto each other again and that's not something we want to have is it now so I'll take those nasty sticky gloves off I've got me other bits and bobs here put together um, mm, no. I have got when I put those I have got these that I'd like to move up, 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 up. don't you don't you spell don't you spell spell no still in right I'd like to just do a little bit not so much that one I want to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of filming on these. They don't they don't need very much. So I mean just I'm not bothering with gloves for this because I've got Miss walk me walking stick for crying out loud. Yeah, I know I'm only small, but that's pushing it, isn't it, really? I just want to uh, dome these because these are fab, and once they're finished, I can uh, get them decorated and we'll have them up for uh, sale. I'm going to have another sale night shortly. So if you've seen anything that you would like or would be interested in, um, keep an eye open for that. Um, you can buy on the night, uh, pay with PayPal and it will be posted out the next day. Um, I don't believe in hanging things on. Everything's got its own number so it makes it easier for you to order and me to uh, sort when it comes to sorting orders out. So uh, that's something for us to look forward to. What's going on with them, baby? It's getting a little bit thick. Although they do say it's better if it's thicker when you're doming, but um, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Talk about shaking hands. This is ridiculous. But this is the best time to do it when it's like this. Just so it takes a little bit more push. Oh, see, pushing around. Oh dear. Got this uh, shaky, shaky. I wish I, I wish I could get rid of it. It can be very, very um, inconvenient if nothing else. The shaky hands hate it. And you're wanting a steady hand, and you're struggling a little bit. Little bit round the other side of there, that's that. Back to the back. Okay, move this over. Okay, got a dribble somewhere. Once you've got your uh, your edge done and it, it's hooked to where you want it, then it will just level itself out. It's all the <laughs> keep me hands shaking. Oh dear. But once, like I say, once you've got it to the edge, it does level itself out a little bit and uh, you'll end up with a nice dome if it doesn't go over the edge when you shake. <laughs> um, 
um, much like this. Let me see. Let's see if I can get it with this without disturbing the, uh, the other bits. That hit the wrong spot totally. <laughs> you didn't want that to happen at all. Um, I don't even know if I can get to it. Oh, I could. Oh, I've just dove that straight in that pot. Damn it. Oh, I'm naughty. Ah. It's okay, that one's getting a bit low now, is it? Seems to have brought that one up. It's surprising you can't necessarily see the uh, bubbles, but you know, we can see them popping when they actually do pop. <laughs> so, what have I got here? What else, what else did I have? Let me see if I can do something with this one. Um, it'll have to be done with one edge. See how we go, we might have enough for it. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have. Whether it works or not, we will see. So what I think I might do is uh, finish this video off because I've gone over an hour and uh, it's long enough if not too long for you. Do please feel free to 
a bit late now, but skip. <laughs> I don't mind when you skip through because it uh, it can be a long, 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 long job, and not everybody wants to watch all the nitty gritty. I mean, I love watching resin videos, but you know, you get so much. There's only so much you can watch before you get really fed up with it. <laughs> I just want to make sure I've got all the edges because that was the issue with this particular um, that was the issue with this particular bookmark that I hadn't got all up to the edge done and it just looked it looked totally bodged so I, I thought that's it sand it down do it again so that's what I ended up doing. Um, put in any colouring that I'll pop it into some squares and then do whatever with it. This is just me being frugal and not waste. I don't like waste. Won't ever waste. But it's too expensive, uh, resin, to waste. And apart from anything else, it's a shame. Really, because when you see what you can do with your effort, you can pick it up. Don't worry about it. It's a good job I use a glass thing. I can scrape that off. It, it will, once it's, once it's cured, it will scrape off. And, uh, clean up nicely. And any that doesn't get filled this time will get filled when I do another pour. Although I think I might just get away with this one. Oh, morning. That's it. It's not far away. I shall 
that keeps scraping until it fills. Just about now. Not got very much more to fill up on that one. Mm. And just a smidgen more, it's all it needs. There we go. There we go. Jobs are good, then. Jobs are good. See what I mean about it? You can keep. You can keep scraping until, yeah, there's no scraping left to do. It would do any good, let's put it that way. Just the slightest little bit more to go in that one. There we are. Right. One, two, three from there, and one, two, three in there. Dirty, sticky hands. Right, so did you miss all that? You missed all that tapping, so I do apologise. This blooming camera where it's stuck, um, you can't just see over the other side, and I didn't realise. I've been just filling these up, scraping and filling, so... Yeesh, if you don't see it, I'm mean, really, really sorry. Thanks all for watching. Please feel free to leave me comments. Subscribe if you're not already. Leave us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. As, as long as painstaking as it is, you know, if you're into resin, I'm sure you'd be interested in seeing how others work. So, uh, I've not had any big catastrophes today. We've done very well. Really pleased with what we've got sorted so far. So, uh that's it folks and uh, i do i do hope you'll leave me a comment and then i will um reply reply to all the comments um so take care folks and uh, hopefully i'll see you again soon i'm just gonna have to clean my hands and we, before i can even switch the camera off <laughs> oh dear all right peeps bye bye for now bye folks